What up YouTube? It's your boy Taekwon back with another video. Today we have Blue Hawaii by Punchnello featuring Crush and Penameco. I wanted to show you guys the release of my new fish that I just got. I'll give you 10 seconds to name that fish. Name that fish. If you can't, it's because it is a special Insignus hat. This is actually an OB Insignus hat F1. So it's the first generation cross between an Insignus hat and a female peacock. And if mine looks anything like this full grown or you know as he's growing, I'm just gonna be so ecstatic. Um, and then the other one that we're gonna be releasing and showing you guys today that I purchased is this guy right here. I'll give you five seconds to try and name the fish. Name that fish. Well, if you're able to get it, uh, then I really commend you. Drop a like if you were able to get it. This one is the Lemon Jake Peacock. And I was just drawn to the solid, beautiful blue kind of stripe with the, the yellow fins just kind of just really pop out. Kind of reminds me of, of, a, of my yellow tail A side, but with just that, you know, much more neon and crystal yellows and blues on them. So, um, yeah, I threw both of these guys into my 29 gallon uh, aggressive experimental tank. Um, and uh, not this one, not the, the Lemon Jake, but the Insignus Hap OBF1. This has now become my most expensive fish. So, you know, I think it's gonna be really fun to watch them develop from a juvenile into something this magnificent. So if you guys think you're gonna like my content, please subscribe uh, so you can be updated on, uh, you know, when I post my videos and, you know, smash that like button, comment down below. So uh, let's take a quick peek and I'll give you guys a second if you haven't already seen uh, kind of the full view of my 29 gallon mixed aggressive experimental tank. Um, I do have a bunch of peacocks in here that I know aren't gonna cause any sort of trouble um, and a lot more for kind of the aesthetic of the tank and plus you know some of these fish are just really incredible and I really wanted to keep until you know they become adult size so um, let's see if you guys can see and, and even though these guys are about you know three four inches now um, they're still juveniles and, and still really small so um, especially with the peacocks and halves they don't color up for a while so you need to be patient with them and that's what's so cool about this hobby is that you know it's like the, the classic caterpillar situation where you know caterpillar turns into a cocoon and comes out into this beautiful butterfly, right? So these fish are, especially the peacocks and halves are gonna be like that. And I'm just really excited to kind of share this journey with you. So if you guys are digging it, can you dig it? Then make sure you smash that like button. Um, but that is our HAP hybrid first generation AKA, gosh, this and all my tanks, if you guys can tell, like there's nobody that is running away from me. You know, if they're doing something, they are running to me. Um, and I don't know if that's a normal thing or if it's because I actually socialize my fish. Um, if you guys are interested in how I actually socialize my fish so that they're accustomed to me um, and I've had success with every fish I've kept. Um, let me know and I can post a video. It's kind of goofy. I'll flip the camera, show you the, uh, the front, but you know, only if I get to at least 10 subscribers because you know, right now I'm killing it with my two. So, um, like I said, this is the Insignis Hap OB. Uh, first generation cross between an Insignus Hap or Haplochromide and a female peacock cichlid. So as you can tell, the a lot of the Haps have these 
essentially and what I've realized now that I have three of them is this like juvenile patterning of like dots and lines or half line or dot dot line or solid line they all look like that and that's what's so crazy and then you see these guys develop into like rainbows and blues and yellows that you would have never thought possible and <laughs> you know that's why a lot of people are attracted to the Mbunas um, because the Mbunas, at, at, even at a juvenile age, you know, all the males are going to show and fully show the color. You know, they're going to continue to develop and grow and maybe, you know, gain nuchal humps and, and their color will also explode as well. But it's nothing like uh, the haps and peacocks where there's just a lot of juveniles without color that are starting to develop. So, yeah, I wanted to show you guys the release of my new fish, most expensive fish, and I'll update you guys along the journey um, as we watch this guy develop. You know, he's colorless now, but you know, one day soon he's gonna be a big, beautiful boy, I hope. And then the other guy is my Lemon Jake peacock. And the Lemon Jake has had a little bit of a hard time adjusting to the tank. He's kind of... You know, a little bit of the oddball in this tank so far, so I hope he can adjust soon. It's only been a couple days, but, you know, he's the guy eating, you know, applesauce. Sorry about that. He's the guy eating applesauce with a spoon backwards, you know, just, you know, doing weird stuff. So let me see if I can find him. Um, where are you? Oh, <laughs> okay, so that is our brand new... Lemon Jake peacock right there. And you see still, you know, as a juvenile, you're gonna see a little bit of color and you do you do see the 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 yellow on the dorsal, the anal on the tail fin that are gonna be just super neon yellow when he grows. And eventually I guess those stripes are, are gonna continue to grow bigger and stay on the fish, just wider as he grows, but that's going to disappear and more of this just beautiful blue is going to come up and uh, cover that entire fish. And just a quick update on Daredevil. I don't know if you watched the uh, you know Bumblebee video where Bumblebee killed one of my uh, leopard bushfish, but in that video, you know, I was remarking how I thought he grew so much over one night. Um, Daredevil, look at that. He loves showing off his chompers. Daredevil's probably one of my most beautiful fish. And, and hit that like button if you agree. He looks like a freaking parrot because of his jaws. Like his chompers are just, it looks like he has a, he's a duck. He has a beak bill. And let me know if this is, you know, just common the way red devils look but supposedly these cichlids have really sharp teeth so i found my albino peacock that had been doing well in this tank for a really long time just sucked on that thing right there and other fish were starting to pick at it but it leads me to believe that my experiment needs more attention because It'll be in a random time that I'm not paying attention. And I'm always paying attention. You have to, or you know, you're just gonna have a lot of loss. So if it's the case where now the same fish that have been in the same tank for a long time, you know, are starting to have issues, or maybe there was a dynamic change when I introduced uh, the Insignis and the Lemon Jake. So, you know, like I said, it's all a big experiment and I can usually tell when the fish are going to be accepted in the community and there's going to be no problems. And for the main part, it looks like uh, the Insignis isn't going to have any sort of problem at all, which I'm the most relieved about because he's my most expensive fish uh, and he looks like he's going to be okay as long as he can handle the strong 24-7 currents. 
but he's big enough where as long as he's feeding and eating, he should be able to do that. Who's going after him? Oh crap, the lemon. No. Oh, the oh, my oh. Yum, yum. And then also on top of my, of Dare, Daredevil getting just absolutely huge is my blue dolphin, Mori. So this Mori is also second I popped him in the 29 from like a 20 long. His growth has really, really started to blow up as well. Um, to the point where now he's one of the biggest fish in here. So if we're just gonna look at size now within the tank, and the reason I have success here is because I introduced these fish all at, if most of them, I'd say a majority of them, 85 to 90% of these fish at a very young age together and have experimented and tried different things on them, uh, like current and flow and, Hiding spots, no hiding spots, open tank, closed tank, planted tank, and this is kind of what's worked the best so far for me. And um, yeah, my fish are really, really getting big now. And uh, my green tear, if I can point them out, I did want to show you guys one thing about the green tear. And this is Goblin, if you don't know, but his head is getting big. Like, he was more of a narrow fish um, less than a week ago. And now he's becoming an oval, or not an oval, like, a, yeah, I guess kind of more ovalish because his head is getting so much bigger. And this is also one that, I think this is the first fish I've ever seen that looks like he is going to develop a nuchal home, which is insane to me. I mean, maybe it's just me, but does that kind of look like, and he's probably one of my most social fish as well. He'll, he'll just, he loves me. Um, but look at that, like right there, you know, it's, it looks like the beginning of the start of a nuchal home, which would be incredible to watch. Uh, because those things are cool, and it's just brain. But the Oscars, um, yeah, in, in one of my previous videos, I was talking about, yeah, you know, people always say that the Oscars just grow so fast, just like the Fajaka Puffers, and I was like, nah, that's BS, man. I've had these guys like a week, they're not doing anything. Yo, right now, I mean, they have grown so fast, um, and their size now, so if we just compare full sizes of the fish, you know, our blue dolphin and uh, daredevil and green terror cichlids are going to be the biggest. The one that's also actually really big and beautiful that you guys never see because he's really shy and is pretty much the only fish of my 50 fish that isn't really social with me and I don't know why is uh, the Angara flame tail cichlid right there. I don't know why, but every, I mean, he's fine, like, but he's not social. And I'm talking, I've trained these fish to become you know, hand trained type of social. Like you could, they could eat out of your hand right now. Oh, they'd probably bite the crap out of you actually. Like my, my yellowtail ace that I was just planting, he was just biting the crap out of me. And I had to like fake like I was trying to catch him just to get him off me so I could plant because <laughs> I don't know if he was going for the hairs on my arm or something, but it hurt. Or if it was his teeth. You guys let me know if uh, those fish have teeth or not because it kind of hurt. But yeah, I just wanted to drop the release of my new OB Insignus hat F1 cross and most expensive fish that I currently own. So, you know, um, I hope he develops into a, you know, big, beautiful male is my hope. But, you know, like I said, I will take you guys on the journey with me. So make sure you subscribe, smash that like button um, and comment down below. 
Peace out, y'all.